Welcome to this short course introduction on ASP.NET 3.5 application development. My name is Doug Rees, and I'm just going to be taking you through just some of the things that we cover on the course and what you can expect from our online recording course. First up, who am I? Well, my name is Doug Rees, like I said, and I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer and have been since 1999. I've passed all of the exams through the .NET framework from the very first version, doing MCAD, MCSD, up to MCTS, MCPD, version 2 and 3.5. So I've sat all of the exams that we sort of cover in these various different courses, and I know that our content is appropriate for those exams. I've also been a professional instructor for several years. I've taught for companies such as QA Training, and for six years I was the lead instructor at the training camp, which is now known as Firebrand Training. I've also consulted for many different companies, because actually consultancy is my main job, Training and instructing is kind of my secondary job. So I've consulted for companies like Microsoft, where I actually wrote some of the .NET courses for Microsoft back uh, in the early 2000. Uh, I've worked for BAE Systems. And currently, I work for Polo Ralph Lauren, working on various intranet systems for them. So the first question is, why would you want to study online as opposed to going to a training center and going to a training course? Well, the big advantage of studying online is that you can choose when you study. So rather than having to sit specific days of the week um, and specific hours during those days in a training center, you can study whether it might be a couple of hours a day, a couple of hours a week, or you might decide to dedicate yourself full time for several days at a go to pass your exams. The other good thing is you can replay the videos, the screencasts, over and over again until you're satisfied, you're comfortable with the content. Whereas in a normal training course, if you miss what the instructor said, it's very difficult to get them to repeat it all and go back through it in a, in a slower sort of way for you. The other thing is you can work through the labs and demonstrations in your own time. Again, on a normal training course, you're very short of time, so you have to do all of the labs in uh, very set hours. It's a much cheaper alternative in credit crunch times. Uh, these days, uh, a normal five-day training course will probably set you back something like 1500 to 2000 pounds uh, in British currency, whereas our training courses are a couple of hundred pounds and last for as long as you like. They're also a much greener approach than actually attending a physical training course. You don't have to take any trains, any planes, you don't have to book any hotels. You can do it all from the comfort of your own home. So what's included? Well, the course itself contains around 30 hours of instructor-led presentation and demonstrations. So more than half of those hours are actually spent doing demonstrations rather than just looking at slides. We use the slides to kind of make bullet points that just highlight the main important points of a topic, but then we use the actual demonstrations to back it up with, with examples that you can understand. All of the source code, of course, is included for all of the demonstrations in both Visual Basic and C Sharp. You also get a printable copy of the slides, so if you want to take notes as you go while you're watching the screencasts, you can do that easily. Throughout the course, we'll kind of point out or highlight to you certain areas that are definitely examinable and things that you need to focus on and sort of hot topics. The other thing you get is a one-year access to the online version of the course, including any future chapters that we're going to include on .NET 4.0 enhancements. So even if you're doing the 3.5 exam now, you can purchase your copy of the course knowing that when you're ready to take the version 4 exam, that there'll only be an extra couple of chapters for you to, uh, to view, and they'll be included in this original purchase. If you prefer to have a DVD for a permanent copy of the course, you can also choose to purchase that for a small additional fee online. Now what isn't included is we don't supply the MS Press book that we've based the course on. It's your choice whether or not you want to purchase this. We do recommend that you buy it. Uh, it's a very good study guide. But the thing is, a lot of people already have the book, so we don't therefore include it in the actual sale of the course. Practice tests. Well, we don't include practice tests because some people are actually just taking these courses just to learn and understand the technology because perhaps they're quite new to ASP.NET and they want to see how it all hangs together, but maybe they don't want to take an exam. So therefore, we don't have to pump up our prices to include ex practice exams that some people may not want to take. So why do we choose a Microsoft Press book? 
Well, I've been using these MS Press books uh, since about the year 2000. Some are good, some are not so good. The ASP.NET 3.5 one is particularly good. It's a very detailed book, very large book actually, and it's a good reference material that you'll probably want to use even after you've passed your exam if that's your goal. And of course it is designed with exam objectives, so you do have a lot of content there, content in there that's specific to the exam. It also includes a trial copy of Visual Studio 2008 if you don't have your own copy and it's very reasonably priced at around about £30 from, uh, new from Amazon and various other booksellers. So the chapters, what's covered? Well we've got quite a few chapters as you can see and I've also got on here the length of each chapter as far as the screencast goes. So we have a, a chapter on introduction, introducing ASP.NET, just over an hour adding and configuring server controls to get familiar with some of the main uh, controls that you'd be using over two hours on that one input validation and site navigation so the input validation controls the validators and moving around a website the various different mechanisms for that ASP.NET state management how to manage things like cookies session state and application state customizing and personalizing a web application so things here like working with themes skins and also web parts. Working with ASP.NET Ajax and client-side scripting, very interesting topic that one and you can actually see um, half of that chapter as a free online sample of this course uh, on our website. A massively large chapter on using ADO.NET, XML and Link with ASP.NET. Over six hours running time, it's broken up into chunks to make it easy for you to uh, work with. Chapter 8, working with data sources and data bound controls. So taking the, the knowledge that you'll learn from Chapter 7 and then applying it to individual controls for ASP.NET uh, controls. Chapter 9 is to do with writing and working with services. This includes web services and also a section on WCF. Chapter 10, creating custom web controls. For those who want to create their own controls, server side controls, this is the chapter for you. A section then, chapter 11, on programming the web application, which is kind of a general chapter that contains some core objects that you need to be familiar with, such as the request, the response, um, server objects, and so forth. Chapter 12, a chapter on monitoring, troubleshooting, and debugging your websites, so you know what to do if something goes wrong with your website once it's live. Globalization and accessibility. So the idea of creating a multilingual website is covered in this chapter, as is making your website accessible. Chapter 14, implementing user profiles, authentication and authorization. So it's basically a large section on security, including things like the membership controls, the login controls, and storing user profiles in a database. Chapter 15, creating ASP.NET mobile web applications. And finally, chapter 16, deploying, configuring, and caching. So some tips and tricks there on how to improve the performance of your application when it's actually deployed. So it's quite a long course, um, as I said, around about 30 hours worth of content in there, but of course you can study it at your leisure. A few prerequisites just to mention. You should at least have a working knowledge of VB.NET or C Sharp to take the course. The assumption is really that you know the main syntax. Also, some basic knowledge of the Visual Studio programming environment, either version 2003 or later is adequate. The entire course uses over a gigabyte of download bandwidth, so if that's going to be an issue for you, you might want to consider purchasing the DVD. You'll need to have Silverlight 2 or later installed on your machine and to view the actual screencast themselves. Finally, of course, you'll need a computer capable of running Visual Studio so that you can work with some of the demonstrations and the labs. So, if you have any questions about our course or are interesting in, interested in purchasing the course, please contact us by going to our web address or else emailing me at support at blackbearit.com.